Hey guys, Kellen again here with Droid Life, taking another look at the Google Play edition of the HTC One M8. So if you watched our unboxing and quick sort of software tour, you'll notice we ran into the camera and we were sort of confused as to how it was going to still utilize uh, HTC's U-Focus and the 3D stuff and a lot of the effects you get from having the duo camera set up. Uh, initially, we couldn't figure it out, and you know, we've now figured it out, so we wanted to make sure you guys are fully aware that it does actually have those capabilities, and I would hope so, because the Google Play listing mentions it, and HTC also talked about it uh, during launch. Uh, basically, once you're in the photo editor and you hit the edit button, you get to choose either HTC's photo editor or the regular sort of Google Android uh, photos editor, so I'll show you that. Also wanted to run through just some other things like boom sound being included in those motion launch gestures and some of the other HTC apps that either can or can't be installed. So uh, let's do that real quick. And the first thing we will do is start with the camera. So if we swipe over and get into the camera, as you noticed during the unboxing, the, uh, the camera UI, the camera UI is identical to what you would see on a Nexus or something like that. So uh, and, and including the settings menu, none of that's changed. So this is definitely stock experience, but uh, we can take a photo. And uh, if we then swipe over into the gallery, which is acting a little weird for me. So we could go in to that photo I just took. And if we hit the photo edit button down here, this is where you actually get the HTC photo edit option. Now I swear I didn't get that the first time, which is why I was so confused, but it is there. And so if we go ahead and select it, you will get into HTC's sort of photo editor. And down here, you'll see you do have U focus and the sort of dimension 3D effect. So if we go ahead and tap U focus, this isn't exactly the best photo to show this off in. But uh, after processes, which seems to be taking longer on this device, uh, so you can tap around and it should refocus things. So if I tap way back there, you can see it blurred out the headphones. So it does in fact work. And then you can also do the 3D really gimmicky effect. And you can see you can sort of swipe that around or rotate that around and get some stuff going on there. So it does indeed work. I uh, just wanted to make sure we confirmed that for you. Uh, I did want to point out that during my testing, I was covering up one of the uh, lens, the uh, the depth sensor, and uh, it would it wasn't giving me an error. Now, if you do that on the regular HTC One M8, it will actually say "Don't cover us up" or you won't get the full effect. And so, I'll show you when I took a photo and had that covered up. Um, and you go into effects and if I tap you focus, you'll see it says unavailable because I was covering that up. So it does give you the uh, same idea and sort of same, same features you would get on the uh, normal HTC one. So, so the camera is in fact a duo camera and HTC and Google have figured out a way to, uh, to factor in all that stuff and bring in all those features. And then essentially what they did was bring in HTC's photo editor. All right, so with camera out of the way, let's talk about a couple other things. So if we jump into sound, you can see it's actually blacked out, but boom sound. So thankfully I have some headphones. If you plug in headphones, you will see boom sound, then highlight and you can uncheck it or uh, you can just essentially turn it off or on if you're listening to anything with headphones on. If you have it on headphones unplugged, it does go away and it says boom sound can't be turned off when using internal speakers. So if you're using these, these uh, external front facing speakers, boom sound is always on. So keep that in mind, boom sound is there. Motion launch gestures, which I mentioned in uh, my unboxing video are there. So double tap to wake, swipe to unlock and volume buttons and landscape to launch the camera, all are there. So just to show you those one more time, if you're holding your phone like this and you double tap, it will wake it up. Uh, you cannot double tap to make it go back to sleep, which you can do on the regular HTC One M8. So I'm sort of sad to see that go. Sometimes it's nice to just tap, wake your phone, peek at things, double tap to make it go back to sleep. Um, but if we uh, swipe to the left, it will unlock the device. And then also if you turn it in landscape and hit the volume button, it does launch the camera right away. So then you could take a quick photo. So they did include those motion gestures, which is, uh, which is awesome. They're one of my favorite features. Uh, another thing I did want to talk about, and if I go into the app drawer, you'll notice over here, I have the HTC TV app installed. So some of the HTC apps actually are installable, if that's a, a word, on this device, other than BlinkFeed, which I've got up here. So I was, I was wondering if you could install BlinkFeed on this device, and it does say that I'm not compatible. So you can't install BlinkFeed in case you wanted the HTC launcher but we can go look at other HTC apps and HTC Sense TV I did install. The Dot View app is also available, so if you have a Dot View cover, it should work. 
unfortunately I don't have one in house, so I can't fully test that, but it should work. Uh, you can see HTC service pack is there and some of these other apps, including the fetch app, but blink feed for some reason does not work. Um, so then the last thing, cause the rest of it is just, you can see I can swipe over and get to Google. Now I can say, okay, Google, and it'll let me do voice searches. Um, you do have on-screen buttons and sort of the whole effect you would get with a, you know, Nexus like device. Um, so there's not much else to show you, but I did want to bring up just a video. So here's the Droid Life channel and here's our unboxing. So if I play this, we'll just let you see that the speakers are plenty loud. So with boom sound speakers on the front there, you do get that and they are quite loud and sound impressive. So other than that though, there's not a lot of other HTC stuff going on. Um, but if you did want to see the TV app in action, I'll show you that real quick. It does pull up and it should work. And I walked through the whole setup process and put in Comcast and all that. And it brings in recommendations and I didn't actually set up a TV, but I would imagine that IR blaster up there works. It worked in the uh, HTC one from last year. That was a Google play edition. So Definitely something that should, but you'll notice, you know, the notification, um, quick toggles are all the same. If we go into battery, you're not going to find extreme battery saver in there. Um, if we go back into settings, there's just nothing else different. I went through each and every single one of these and, uh, the rest of the experience is pretty much the same. Although there is HTC's weather service, but I did not find the HTC, uh, famous clock. So it must be just using it for weather service rather than to also, you know, use with something like HTC's clock. So. There's your widgets. So anyways, just a quick software tour of the Google Play Edition HTC One M8. So camera does work. You also have motion gestures, motion launch gestures. You have boom sound and some other stuff going on there, all in a stock experience. So uh, anyways, if you've got other questions, we'll be doing further testing. So let us know. We are Droid Life, and we're out. Peace.